The biggest giveaway that someone is using stock assets in Blender is the lack of customization, and I'm guilty of it too. But today we're going to put that right. I'm going to show you step by step how to take a standard car in Blender, change the paint color, add some carbon fiber and chrome, plus some custom decals, and transform the car to make it your own. This is an easy, beginner-friendly tutorial, and I'll be sharing where to get free models, materials, and HDRIs so you can follow along. If you're new here, I'm Leo from MediaWay, and my channel specializes in easy to follow, short Blender tutorials aimed at beginner and intermediate users. Let's get started. Right, we'll start by hopping into the preferences. Go edit preferences. I want to make sure you've got images as planes. Import images as planes, that needs to be turned on. And also Blender Kit needs to be installed. I'll leave a download link in the description below. Press A to select everything, X to delete everything. Press N on your keyboard and pop over to Blender Kit tab. Firstly, what we're going to do, we're going to download a model of a car. So type in Corvette. And this first one that comes up, Chevrolet Corvette 2014. Just drag and drop it into there. We'll also find a road. So let's type in road. On search filters, just make sure it says free first if you haven't paid for Blender Kit. Yeah, if you just type in procedural road, you should get this result here. You can drag and drop that down on here. And just click on the procedural road, just press G to grab and press Shift Z so it doesn't move on the Z axis. Then R to rotate and Z to rotate on the Z axis. Let's just get this in the right place. G to grab, Shift Z. Let's just pop it under the car. This is just to make it all a bit easier. G to grab, Z, and we'll just move it down just so we can see the wheels. In the viewport shading, you can see everything's still dark. We're going to add a HDR just to lighten this up. Uh, if you just type in forest, just choose anyone that you like the look of and drag it and drop it. 2048 resolution should be fine. I'm going to pop into cycles, but you can leave it in EV if, it, if you prefer. This just gives me a bit more realistic lighting and shadows. Okay. So the first thing we'll do, we'll perhaps start by, by changing the car paint. So click on the car, pop over to the shading tab. If you zoom out a bit, you can see, you can see right in the middle, you can actually change the color of your car paint here just by dragging and moving this swatch to different places. Perhaps go for something quite vibrant. It's like a, a luminous green for now. Right, I also want to change the color of the wheels. So pop into layout mode. Uh, in Blender Kit, you also have a materials tab. If you just type in Chrome, you can see we've got a car Chrome here. So just drag and drop that onto the wheels. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add a carbon fiber color to the bonnet. So press Shift A, we're gonna add in a monkey. Just G to grab, just move it just so you can see it. And we're going to search for carbon fiber. Uh, this nice one here is carbon fiber procedural. Just drag and drop that onto the monkey. And then we're going to go into the car. Click on the car. Press tab to go into edit mode. Now you can see here, I don't know if you can actually, Basically only half the car is uh, wireframed and then they're using a mirror modifier to basically mirror the car. So just apply the, oh, just pop out of edit mode by pressing tab. Uh, let's just apply that mirror modifier, just make things a bit clearer. So now back in edit mode by pressing tab, you can see all the vertices that make the car model up. So what you want to do is if you actually hover over the bonnet of the car, I'm just press the L button on your keyboard you'll see it actually select that part of the car. Now um, in the materials tab, we can just go down and what we'll do, we're gonna add in a new color and it's going to be that procedural carbon fiber there, the carbon fiber procedural. And then we're gonna press assign and all of those vertices we've selected 
now get assigned to being carbon fiber. I'm going to do the same to the roof. So press L and basically that links all the parts of the roof that are together. And maybe we'll get that bit as well. And then just press assign to assign the carbon fiber to those parts as well. Okay, tab out of edit mode. The car is already looking, already looking quite customized, which is nice. The next thing I'm going to do is add a decal. So if you go to file, import images of planes, find a decal that you like, and then press import images as planes. Press G to grab, let's just move it uh, over there just for a second, right. Just in case you have don't have a decal, it's quite easy to find one. So if, so if you hop into Google, cool logo, and then maybe press images here. And a quite handy trick is if you go to the tools part and you go to color and select transparent, it'll basically only find you logos with uh, which are basically transparent. So you could click on a, a logo that, that you like the look of, press right click on it, and then just do save image as and then you can use that in your blender file. Right, so what we're gonna do here, let's uh, just grab this logo here. So I actually want that to snap onto the car bonnet. So if you go to your settings up here for snapping, you can switch the magnet on to snap. We want it to uh, basically snap to face project and choose project individual elements as well. Okay, so now when we grab it, G to grab, it should actually snap to the different parts of the car. So actually, if you move it around, let's just I'll show you a little bit better here. Grab it, you can actually see it. And the vert, you see the orange dot at the center. Well, it's hard to show you here. Basically, the origin point is the part that snaps. So if we just pop into sort of view by top, you can press seven on your number pad to get top view. Just press G to grab and get it roughly in the center of where you want it to be. Now we actually want that that graphic to actually fit to the car's contours a bit better. So we can do that by going to the modifiers tab, adding a modifier, subdivision surface, set both of these to six and set it to simple. And then we're going to add a shrink wrap modifier. Um, and the snap mode needs to say outside surface, target, just click on the little eyedropper tool and click on the where it says car bumper. And then we just need to offset it a bit just by 0.0001. And that projects it nicely there onto the car bonnet. Just scale that down and press G to grab and just move it around till it looks about right. The other thing you want to do is parent your decal to the car. So when we move the car, Let's just move the car and show you. So at the minute the decal doesn't move with the car. So if you click on the decal, shift and click on the car and then press control P and set the parent to the object, keeping the transform. Now when we move the car, the decal moves perfectly with it. Let's add a camera to finish this off. Shift A, add a camera. Press zero on your number pad. A nice way to navigate is to use the uh, walk navigation. So go to view, navigation, walk navigation. And now you can actually look around with the mouse. Uh, use W, A, S and D to move backwards and forwards. And let's find a nice angle that looks good. Maybe there, we're gonna quickly just, let's just change the render settings a bit. Maximum samples, 32 is fine. Make sure denoise is switched on. Also in the camera settings, let's just add a depth of field. We'll choose the, let's choose the decal as the focal point. Uh, you can actually, reduce, you can see here by reducing the, the number here, of how much depth of field you're gonna get in the picture. And press F12 to render it. There you have it, a cool looking custom designed car.